Now, should we have the right to make fun of religions? Well, the Olympic gymnast Lewis Smith has apologised after a video emerged in which he and some friends mock uh, Muslim prayer rituals. The clip caused offence in some quarters and British Gymnastics, the governing body, decided to suspend him from the sport for two months. Let's have a look at the clip. No, no. <laughs> took it off the wall. <laughs> took it off the wall. <laughs> In Dan's wedding reception. There we go. Nothing's in private these days, is it? Some believe his punishment goes too far and dangerous free speech. Yesterday, in Prime Minister's questions, the Conservative MP Charles Walker condemned British gymnastics' decision. When people make fun of Christianity in this country, it rightly turns the other cheek. When a young gymnast, Lewis Smith, makes fun of another religion widely practiced in this country, he is hounded on Twitter by the media and suspended by his association. For goodness sake, Mr. Speaker, this man received death threats and we have all looked the other way. So my question to the Prime Minister is this, what is going on in this country? Because I no longer understand the rules. Yeah, well, I, I understand the level of concern that my honourable friend has raised in relation to this matter. This is a balance that we need to, that we need to find. We value freedom of expression and freedom of speech in this country. That is absolutely essential uh, in underpinning our democracy. But we also value tolerance uh, to others. We also value tolerance in relation to religions. This is one of the issues that uh, we've looked at in the counter-extremism strategy that the government has produced. I think we need to ensure that, yes, it is right that people can have that freedom of expression, but in doing so, that right has a responsibility too, and that is a responsibility to recognise the importance of tolerance to others. Well, that was the Prime Minister yesterday, and, of course, as you would expect, we did ask British Gymnastics for an interview, but they told us nobody was available. I'm joined now by Roshan Mohamed Sali, the editor of the Muslim news site Five Pillars. Welcome to the programme. Why shouldn't we have the freedom to make fun of Islam and other religions? Well, I think from the Muslim's perspective, what Lewis Smith said was offensive. Uh, he's been contrite about it. He said, sorry, he said, I'm an idiot. I don't know much about religion. So we accept that at face value because obviously we, our religion teaches us to forgive. I think gym, British gymnastics has done the right thing because ultimately he's a public figure. It's a public body and they can't give out the message that they accept intolerance. Um, they haven't crucified him. They've given him a two month sentence. They haven't ruined his career. So I think they've struck the right balance. But let me come back to my question. Why shouldn't we have the right to make fun of religions and isn't in a free society don't we have the right to be offensive it may be the wrong thing to yeah. do it may be unnecessary but doesn't freedom uh, give a right to be yeah. offensive well for once I think I agree with Theresa May in the sense that I think you know freedom of speech is not absolute um, it's not and uh, you kind of you know uh, you, you have a responsibility and especially when it, you have to take into account things like social cohesion mm. the fact is that Islamophobia is rampant in our society Muslims feel targeted by the government's prevent counterterrorism strategy they feel as though this country has been involved in military action in Muslim countries hate crime just ask any police force in this country Islamophobia hate crime has doubled in London in the last few years. Muslims are getting attacked on the streets. Um, a, a couple of guys were sent to jail for throwing bacon at a mosque just yesterday. Um, I could go on and on. So we have to take into account this context. Uh, Anti-Semitism is not tolerated in this country. It's not tolerated in public life. It's not tolerated in the media. Homophobia is not tolerated but in making, the public but, life. But, but making fun is. of Judaism is tolerated making fun but who's of doing Christianity that? is anyone well, have you of... seen the have you seen Monty Python's life of Brian it's quite a long time ago. It's yeah, but even so, you that. can still go into YouTube and watch it yeah. now. Well, look, I, I'm no, against... No, no, no one is saying I, that John I'm, Cleese I'm a... should be banned from the BBC. Yeah. I'm personally against insulting any religion. I don't know why anybody would want to yeah, do you, that. But, but that's a free society. Judaism, in, in a free Islam, society, whatever. you can take that view. But in a free society, others can decide yeah. that they uh, think religion is a malign influence uh, and that they want to make fun of it. They want to try and discredit it. Now... That is 
surely what a free society allows you to do. Andrew, there's only a minority of commentators and figures in this country that want to poke fun at any religion. And I, don't think, I don't think the social cohesion but, of this country should be held hostage But can I point out to you the whole purpose of a free society mm. is to protect minorities, if that's what they want to do. Yes, and that's, that is the hallmark, that is the test you want of to a civilised nation. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about laws. I'm talking about... I'm not... Uh, uh, advocating people looking out for anti-Semitism or Islamophobia or any kind of discrimination when, it, when it's from the ordinary person. But when it's from a public figure and a public body, then I think um, we all have a message to send out, and that is we will not tolerate discrimination against any religion um, and we will not discriminate uh, you know, against Muslims in particular. And we have to take this context of Islamophobia, rampant Islamophobia in our society into account. Has British gymnastics overreacted or have they done the right thing? I think they are a complete disgrace. I think they've act not just o overreacted, I think they've behaved absolutely spinelessly. Um, Offence causes no harm to anybody. Uh, we do actually um, uh, enable and permit uh, people to be offensive about religions. We permit them to, be, uh, to, to mock religions. Christianity is mocked over and over again. It is only Islam and people representing Islam uh, who insist that Islam should be a kind of special case. We are no, in a no, very difficult... We don't want to be a special finish? case. Can we want equality. That's what Can we want. I just... If you want equality... Special. Muslims, oh, hold on. Can I'll, I'll come treatment. back. Special Can treatment I, for Muslims does not Can exist. Can I just finish your point? Can I just finish? Nobody uh, wants special treatment. N nobody is arguing that Christianity should not be mocked or any other religion should be mocked. Christians the, are not getting attacked on the streets, Melanie. The Jews are being attacked on the streets and no, so no Jew yeah, is saying that, that Judaism should not be mocked or criticised. We're in a situation where but people, people are mocking Judaism. Have, you're not even allowing me to speak. Carry on then. Thank you. We're in a situation where we have seen people murdered across the world mm. because of the apparent offence given to Islam by the Danish cartoons. We're in a very, very dangerous situation in this country which invented freedom and liberty and freedom of speech where we now have people who are being intimidated through social and professional uh, means and also in fear of their lives so that any criticism of Islam, any, uh, uh, any attempt to mock Islam is regarded as Islamophobia and any attempt to defend this poor chap who has been disciplined by the British Gymnastic Authority. But he is a role authority. model, of course, isn't he? Does that not uh, lend itself to some sort of reprimand? I think we need to have role models in Britain standing up for the Western tradition that freedom of speech is a precious commodity. You're absolutely right. It is not oh. absolute, but it should only be circumscribed in the most extreme circumstances, and giving offence or insulting people is not one of those circumstances. Now, when you see the bit of the video that we run there, it's... Uh, it it's stupid behaviour, mm. and you can see why people may even regard it as offensive uh, yes. behaviour too. And I'm sure he deeply regrets. I, th I think it was never meant to be public, but as I said, it well, everything becomes public these days. Uh, but perhaps what fuels uh, a, a, a feeling of anti-Islam in this country is what many will see as an overreaction to this, of him being suspended, of the outcry. He's been issued threats of violence. The police have had to be notified. If, if we took and said, what a stupid thing to do, stupid guy, mm. and then just move on, wouldn't that be a better way? Well, I think Muslims feel as though it's open season uh, towards them in the media. And I think, as a community, we, have, we feel as though we have to take a stand at times. Mm -hmm. And especially when Islamophobia become, becomes so public like this, uh, then we just have to take a stand, With otherwise threats, the floodgates though. will open. Well, the Muslim community can't be, can't, as a whole, cannot be blamed for the death threats against Lewis Smith. I, mean, I get death threats on Twitter all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't blame white people for that, or Christians, or Jews, or whatever. Um, so I think we shouldn't exaggerate. But I think there is a narrative that Melanie, I must say, must, has been portraying over the years, that you know, this idea that the Muslims are taking over and Sharia law is you know, creeping Sharia law. And I think if, if I spoke about Jews the way that Melanie spoke, speaks about Muslims, then I would be um, hung, drawn and quartered for anti-Semitism. You've just proved my point. Any criticism of Islam is called Islamophobia. You go much further than that. I have criticised yeah. aspects of Islam, mm. and especially is Islamist extremism and Islamist totalitarian instincts and what I would call Islamofascism. For that, I am called Islamophobic. Yes. What I have said is based on evidence and truth. Mm. 
is anti-Semitism is based on lies. That is the difference. There is no equation that should be reasonably made well, I think between we should Islamophobia all be treated equally. and um, anti-Semitism. I don't want to poke fun at Jews. No, truth I don't and lies cannot religion. be equated. And I just want Muslims to be treated the same as everyone else in this society. Um, if Lewis Smith was homophobic, he would have been sanctioned. If he would have been anti-Semitic, he would have been mean? sanctioned. In the same way. So he's been Islamophobic, so I only think it's right that he's sanctioned as well. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much.